Now, back with us is our standard resident vet, Anu Murthy, and dog trainer, Kelly McFarlane. How are you both? Great, Good. thank you. Really nice to have you back in here. And we are talking about grooming and bathing your pets today. Anu, how often... Actually, no, before we start, I want you guys to watch this and tell me what you think. We found this. Uh, it's called a licky brush. I love it. <laughs> so they're actually it's special. For, this is a real thing that they're looking for money. To, they're raising money to get this made. Uh, and so you stick it in your mouth and so you can groom your cat. <laughs> So it's all about social bonding, connection, and grooming your cat. So is the is the cat meant to think that you're a cat while you're doing? I'm not sure. Who knows what that's all about? But I think I'll be leaving it to that guy and not be getting yeah. it on myself. Let's talk. Let's start by talking about uh, first up bathing your dog. How often should you bathe your dog? It really depends on what the dog is doing. So if they're a dog that's really active and really likes to get dirty and muddy or go to the beach, then you know you should probably be cleaning them on a daily basis just to get the sand and the dirt off. Off okay. and to get those allergens off. But if it's a standard, I'm just walking on the street kind of dog, maybe every four to six weeks is enough for them. What about in winter? Should you be giving them a nice warm shower or do they just get the cold hose down? I don't think they need a nice warm shower because if you bathe them too much with that warm water or any water, it can dry out their skin. Oh, okay. So they can have the opposite kinds of problems if you're bathing them too much. So you may think you're being nice to them, but you're actually not. Yeah. There's where the doggy jackets come in. The doggy Don't jackets, worry. which just look so cute. They really, really do. Uh, Kelly, what do you reckon about different kinds of or how grooming dogs? How often do you groom your dogs? Uh, sizzle my little miniature wire dash on usually about every six to eight weeks. Uh, Zoe, I don't really groom her. She tends to get vacuumed and she... <laughs> she vacuumed her? I do, yeah. She what was, loves what kind of it. Was that? Uh, she's just a SPCA special, so yeah, she loves that. Surely that's unusual for a dog to be vacuumed and they actually <laughs> like it. Usually that, my dog runs a mile when I put the vacuum cleaner on. No, as soon as I start vacuuming the couches, she's right there nudging. Really? She, yep, yep. So it's like a little massage for her. So you shouldn't be brushing them on a daily basis, just having them on your lap, giving them a little brush? Yeah, you can you can brush Definitely. them daily. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. okay. That's okay. What about poodles? Which hurt that poodles don't molt, do they? They don't shed. Should you be brushing them every day? I think you should at least um, get a nice brush through them every day, or a little bit of massage just to make them feel really good because it's like us going for a day at the spa we love it and I and I think our pets do too if it's the equivalent of a head massage like when you go to the hairdressers <laughs> yeah. every day I'd be all for it exactly what about their nails do you need to clip those on a regular basis definitely so with the nails there is a blood vessel that grows along with the nail so the longer the nail grows the longer the vessel grows and then it's really hard to keep them trim mm -hmm. and happy and those nails if you just let them grow they can grow into the pads and that's extremely painful okay. for our pets can you clip them, clip them yourself or do you need to get someone else to do it well you can uh, answer that. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, if you know how to do it then it's absolutely fine you can buy the clippers and do it yourself if you don't then get your vet to do it um, or certainly someone in the veterinary industry should be clipping them, yeah, okay. with a groomer. And just quickly, should you be grooming your cat as well? I mean, they seem to spend half their lives just licking themselves. Yeah, oh, most, most cats absolutely love it. Um, and certainly long-haired cats, so your rag dolls, uh, Maine Coons, they certainly get knotty, so they definitely need grooming, otherwise they end up at the vet sedated <laughs> and getting a little lion cut, so they'll end up completely bald with a mane. Okay, um, which so, yeah. is not attractive. <laughs> which is okay. not what you want. Or we could always get a licky brush, which yeah. would be nice. I'm sure. Hey, that's yeah. great. Thank you so much. Now let's have a look at our pet of the week, who is Princess Fur Daddy Stuart White, oh, a $50 cute. feline natural will be on its way to you. And simply load a photo of your pet to our Facebook page for your chance to win as well. I bet you that gorgeous princess gets a lot of grooming. Thank you so much for coming in, Kelly. And I know it's Thank been you. a pleasure and very enlightening as well.